Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Our today's question on array's topic is reverse array in groups. The question states that given an array of positive integers of size n, reverse every subarray group of size k. Let's have a look at the examples. In example one, the size of array is phi and the value of k is three, and the array elements are one, two, three, four, five. So we need to reverse the array in groups of three. So the group one, two, three is reversed to three, two, one, and the remaining group. 4, 5 is reversed to 5, 4. So the output is 3, 2, 1, 5, 4. Now let's have a look at the Similarly, approach to solve this particular problem. Let's consider the same example as given in the question, where the values of n and k were 5 and 3 respectively, and the array elements were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 4, 5, 4. Before starting with the algorithm, let's declare few variables, namely val and initialize it to k. We also calculate the quotient as n divided by k, which is 1, and remainder as n mod k, which is 2. So the quotient Q represents the number of uh, subgroups of size k, uh, whereas the remainder represents the last remaining subgroup whose size is not equal to k. Then we also calculate limit as Q into k, uh, which is equal to three, which is the limit of fully subgroups of size k. Then the right side of the screen shows the algorithm for solving this particular problem. We start the algorithm by running a for loop from i is equal to zero, and we check whether if i is less than limit. So initially, i uh, points to the first element, which is one, and we check whether if i mod val is equal to zero, and i is not equal to zero. But in our case, the value of i is zero, therefore this if condition fails, and we check whether if k is even, that is three is not even, therefore we calculate the Uh, new value of limit or local limit, namely lim as k by two, which is one. Then we run a for loop from j is equal to i to uh, j is less than or equal to the local limit. So initially the value of j is zero, and then we calculate the mirror image of this particular element considering the local limit lim as a center. So the Mirror image can be calculated using k minus j minus one, which is the index two. So we swap a of zero with a of two, and after swapping, we increment the value of j. So now j points to one or the element two, and similarly we calculate the mirror image of j, which is a of one itself. Therefore, we swap a of one with itself. And now the value of j is two, which is not less than or equal to the value of lim. Therefore, we exit the for loop and increment the value of i as i is equal to i plus val. So now i points to three or the element four, and we also check whether if i is less than limit. Since the value of limit was three and the value of i is also three, therefore uh, we exit the for loop as well. And now we. Check the algorithm. We run the bottom part of the algorithm, which is for the remaining elements of the array. So the if condition uh, checks whether if r is not equal to zero, uh, which checks that if there are some elements remaining at the end of the array uh, whose size, whose subarray size is not equal to k. So the value of r was two. Therefore, the if condition is fulfilled, and we calculate the new value of local limit as Limit plus n minus one minus limit divided by two. So the value of local limit is three, which serves as a midpoint to the uh, last subgroup of uh, whose size was not equal to k. And we also calculate the value of j as n minus one, which is four. Then we run a for loop for i is equal to limit i is less than or equal to local limit and i plus plus. So the for loop runs from i is equal to three, and we we swap a of i with a of j, since j points to the mirror image of i. Therefore, we swap four with five, and after swapping, we decrement the value of j and increment the value of i. So now the value of i is four, and it it also points to the element four. But i is not less than or equal to the local limit whose value was three. Therefore, we exit the for loop, 
and we got our output array as 32154. So now let's begin with the actual code. We just need to complete the function reverse in groups whose arguments are the array A, the size of the array N and the size of the groups or subgroups uh, which is K. So as we have seen in the explanation part, we first need to declare few variables. So we declare val and initialize it to K. We also declare Q which is quotient, our remainder, our final limit and our local limit which is lim. And we calculate the value of Q as n divided by k. Similarly, we calculate remainder r as n mod k and limit as q into k. And then we begin with the actual algorithm that is we run a for loop from i is equal to 0 to limit and we update the value of i as i is equal to i plus val. And we check whether if i mod val is equal to 0 as well as i is not equal to 0 and if so then we update the value of k as k is equal to k plus 2 times val and then we check whether if k is even or odd that is k mod 2 is equal to 0 that is if k is even then we calculate the value of local limit as k by 2 minus 1 and if k is not even then we calculate the value of local limit as simply k by 2 Then we run a for loop for j is equal to i, j is less than or equal to local limit j plus plus and we swap a of j with the mirror of a of j. So the mirror value of a of j will be at location k minus j minus 1. So we swap a of j with a of k minus j minus 1 uh, which will be the mirror image or the mirror element of a of j considering lim as a center. So after running this loop we add an if, if uh, case for the remaining elements uh, in case there are uh, there is a subgroup at the end whose size is not equal to k. In that case, we get a remainder r as not equal to 0. Therefore, the first condition we check whether is if r is not equal to 0. And if so, then we calculate the new value of local limit as limit plus n minus 1 minus limit divided by 2. And we also calculate the value of j as n minus 1, which is the mirror of for which is the mirror for the element a of i. And then we run a for loop from i is equal to limit. So we run a for loop from i is equal to limit because uh, if we consider a initial for loop, we had end at limit. Uh, we had end i at the position of limit so we start from there itself that is for i is equal to limit i is less than or equal to the local limit which is represented by the variable lim and i plus plus so as we have swapped in the previous for loop here also we swap a of i with its mirror image or the mirror element which is a of g so we swap a of i with a of j as well as we decrement the value of j itself and yes we are done with the code we can compile it now
and the code is compiled and we have got our output as 32154 which is correct so we can submit the code and our code is submitted successfully so if you found this video helpful then do hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparations thank you